Have you ever wondered about the spiritual beliefs of the ancient Filipinos before the arrival of the Spaniards? Delve into the fascinating world of Anito and Diwata, the deities and spirits that were once integral to the indigenous religious practices of the Philippines. In the beginning, the indigenous people of the Philippines believed in a complex system of deities, spirits, and ancestors, which they called Anito. These were objects of worship and veneration, often represented by physical idols or images made of wood, stone, or metal. The term Anito also referred to the spirits of ancestors, who the people believed continued to influence the world of the living, even after death. Anito worship was a significant part of the indigenous Filipinos' daily life, with rituals and offerings made to ensure the favor of these spirits. They believed that the Anito could bring good fortune, protection, and guidance, but could also inflict harm if not properly appeased. As time went by, the concept of Diwata entered the spiritual landscape of the indigenous Filipinos. The term Diwata, derived from the Sanskrit word Devata, meaning deity, referred to divine beings or gods. Unlike Anito, the Diwata were not ancestral spirits, but rather powerful entities that controlled various aspects of nature and human life. The Diwata were highly revered and were often associated with the natural world. They were believed to inhabit sacred places like mountains, forests, and bodies of water. Each Diwata had its own domain, such as agriculture, sea, wind, and fertility, and was the focus of specific rituals and offerings. The influence of Anito and Diwata on the indigenous Filipinos was not only spiritual, but also social. They played a crucial role in establishing societal norms, as people sought to live in a way that would please these deities and spirits. They also provided a sense of unity and identity among different tribes and communities, as they shared common beliefs and practices. However, with the arrival of the Spaniards in the 16th century and the subsequent conversion of the Filipinos to Christianity, the worship of Anito and Diwata gradually declined. Many of the indigenous practices were suppressed and the Anito and Diwata were demonized as pagan idols. Yet, despite this, elements of Anito and Diwata worship survived, particularly in remote areas and among indigenous tribes. In the present day, the reverence for Anito and Diwata has seen a resurgence, especially among those who seek to reconnect with their pre-colonial roots. They have become symbols of Filipino indigenous spirituality and cultural heritage, reminding us of the rich and diverse spiritual beliefs that once thrived in the islands. To summarize, Anito and Diwata were central to the spiritual beliefs of the indigenous Filipinos. The Anito were ancestral spirits venerated through rituals and offerings while the Diwata were divine beings associated with nature and human life. Their influence shaped not only the spiritual, but also the social fabric of the indigenous communities. Despite the suppression of their worship during the Spanish colonization, Anito and Diwata continue to be significant symbols of Filipino indigenous spirituality and cultural heritage. So, the next time you gaze upon a mountain or walk through a forest, remember the Anito and Diwata that might dwell there still whispering the tales of an ancient spiritual tradition. Commit your way to the Lord, trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. Psalm 37 verse 5 I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4 verse 13